North Carolina Senator Ted Budd was in Uptown today talking workforce development. He says plans 400 miles away in Washington, D.C. could affect the Charlotte region. Here's WCNC Charlotte's Julia Kaufman. Local and national leaders agree a priority this year has to be workforce development. That means helping people get the necessary skills in order to land good paying jobs. We had been in office. For Senator Ted Budd met with Charlotte's business community and leaders, including Mayor Vi Lyles, Monday to talk about how efforts in Congress can help support Charlotte's workforce. The narrative that's been going on for many, many decades, probably post World War II, up until recently, is that you have to have a four year degree to succeed in this country. It is not true. Bud said skills based training and trade school are vital for that mission. We're probably on the front end of a blue collar revival. So, whatever it takes to support that, and whether that's a rural area like where I live in Davie County or a more urban area, uh, like Mecklenburg, it has to be skills based training. Bud voiced support for the Pell Act, which would expand federal Pell grants to short term workforce programs. The bipartisan bill aims to help more people pay for skills based training. We have international businesses here, local businesses, all who are looking for people to work. And I believe that a lot of people want to come to work. We just have to help them get to that place. Lyles argued supporting the local workforce should also mean supporting Charlotte's strategic mobility plan. People know that there's opportunities for us to be a better city because we have better mass transit. It's necessary to be able to move a city around um, to be able to get people to work in a reasonable amount of time. The $13.5 billion transportation plan relies on a one cent sales tax referendum, which first needs approval from the North Carolina General Assembly. In Uptown, Julia Kaufman, WCNC Charlotte.